Reducing emissions is critical and organisations worldwide have a part to play if we are to reach 2050 targets. The International Carbon Reduction and Offset Alliance, known as ICROA, is an initiative housed in AITA which promotes best practice when it comes to high quality emissions reductions and the use of carbon credits through its accreditation programme. This animation explains more. Climate change is here. The United Nations says it's now or never to limit global warming. Companies, governments and people must reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and fast. We need to reduce CO2 emissions by almost 50% by 2030. By 2050, the world needs to reach net zero emissions. This means we're not adding any incremental greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. But how can we handle those emissions which can't be avoided now? Carbon offsetting allows organisations to compensate for their unavoidable emissions through the purchase of carbon credits. These are issued by accredited standards to projects that avoid or remove carbon emissions from the atmosphere. Projects done well help more than just the climate. In Sudan, wood is harvested for indoor wood cookstoves, contributing to deforestation and creating air pollution. The smoke killing many more people every year than malaria, HIV and AIDS, and tuberculosis combined. Using carbon finance, low smoke stoves were distributed, radically improving the health of women and children and decreasing the number of trees cut down. This one project achieved five of the UN's 17 sustainability goals. In Nicaragua, smallholder farmers, who are some of the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change, are paid to reforest and regenerate ecosystems and underutilized areas of their land, supporting the environment and local communities at the same time. The International Carbon Reduction and Offset Alliance, ICROA, an initiative housed in AITA, accredits high-quality carbon credit suppliers, making sure that offsetting is done well and with environmental integrity. Meeting the requirements of the ICROA Code of Best Practice means that the accredited supplier of carbon credits has passed their annual third-party audit, ensuring they provide credits with real impact and integrity. Each carbon credit is equal to one tonne of CO2 that has not been emitted or has been removed from the atmosphere. When purchased, the credit is then retired and cancelled through an internationally recognised and publicly viewable registry. There are two kinds of markets for carbon credits. The compliance market is used by governments and companies that are legally obliged to measure and reduce their carbon emissions, such as in Europe, California, South Korea and China. And there's the voluntary market, where companies choose to compensate for their residual emissions and help deliver their net zero strategies. So far, the voluntary carbon market has channeled more than $5 billion into projects around the world. But carbon offsetting is not a get-out-of-jail-free card for real climate action. Companies must first set ambitious carbon reduction targets in line with climate science and the goals of the Paris Agreement, for both their own direct emissions and those within their value chain. There is no silver bullet to tackle the climate crisis, but carbon offsetting, done well, can help companies to decarbonize faster and on a larger scale, while protecting and restoring nature and supporting communities around the world.